Star Season Alpha 3.24 dropped not too long ago and we already got leaks. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Marai Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. Let's get into the video. Uh, just to let you guys know, um, I'm going to be just going through this um, as I record. Um, so, um, the Pipeline Discord channel has um, gotten some, some more uh, leaks pertaining to what's in the 3.24 building we're going to go through them and see some interesting things um, i've seen some pretty cool interesting things that i think you guys will be excited about so let's just go straight into it so one of the biggest ones that i did see um first and foremost when you want to enter your hangar um all it is is when you go into the elevator you'll see um your hangar your name and uh, and uh, your hangar size as an option and then you click on that and it'll take you straight to your anger so that's that's pretty cool um up next very interesting one is um it seems like we're getting night vision scopes in this one well at least we're seeing these uh the items for them in the uh, xml files or a game files um, all right so um it seems like there are night vision optics there is uh varying sizes and um, I believe one of the names of the brands is called MVTC. Okay, so um, we'll talk a little bit more about this later. But um, the next thing here that I see the, here um, is decorations, right? So one of the things that people are going to be interested in is decorations. It seems that there's going to be um, different kinds of um, the ship manufacturers will have their own decorative items as well as uh, just regular decorative items okay so it seems like there is an aegis armchair decoration um ages and then there's a aegis ship arm chair so um will we be getting the ones that actually exist in the ships but as a um individual item we can put in our hangar that's what it seems like right so they also have um armchair rsi ship armchair um, armchair decorations high-end armchairs and there is high-end and they also have low-end armchairs okay so uh next drake uh ship chair so if you if you have that's your style um you also have that as well they have bean bags it seems like they have um let's see here let's see here couches high-end couches as well as low-end couches and couch decoration so does it does this mean we can actually put things on the couch itself you know what i mean like if you have something like a teddy bear or a flushy you can put it on the couch is, is that what this couch decoration mean there's chair decoration as well so um maybe we could maybe we could actually do that there's table decoration and there's high-end table large so yeah there's the decorations are probably sub items you can put on top of these items it seems like and that's gonna be pretty cool it's gonna add to the, the level of detail we can have in our base in our hangers okay so um what i'm really curious what i really hope is cig will allow well in these hangers we'll have certain areas uh like uh, living quarters uh kitchen kitchen area um uh, a lounging area just all within the hangar like in a small section in the hangar maybe like in a corner or something where we could actually put these items that way it feels um like it's a, a livable area instead of just an industrial um, facility you know what i mean so i think it'll be cool if they do something like that then again i believe uh, these hangers are the very first step to base building so um i think cig is testing base building with this stuff so um to be quite honest so hopefully they, they give us things like that all right so up next it says here they have some shop ui um kiosk uh, information um it says available cargo size and next here it says awaiting manual delivery from freight elevator so i guess there's some i think this is related to a mission so maybe once you're you you bring um when you're doing a cargo mission and and those commodities that you have are already tagged as mission items so as soon as you, they arrive then you probably have this message on the um, asop terminal that tells you that it's waiting for um manual delivery so you probably have to just 
uh, manually go there, grab it, put it in the um, cargo, um, the elevator, and then the elevator will be able to ship it to whoever you're delivering it to. Okay, that's what I'm getting from this. All right, so they have auto load, they have auto unload, they have cargo capacity, loading times. So this, this seems like it's just a shop UI, uh, the ASOP terminal, uh, the terminal itself, um, elements that they have here, shop quantity, um, local market value. So it seems like when you bring items, you can just sell it directly from your hangar, which is pretty cool. We don't have to run all the way to the TDDs anymore. We can just sell it from our hangar. That is awesome. Okay. So your ship needs to be stowed to allow auto loading. So these are certain criteria. Um, when you want to perform certain actions, that makes sense. The shop buys items of this size or smaller. So there's going to be criteria for certain shops. The shop doesn't accept container size. Interesting. The shop is full. This the shop is full of this item and cannot buy more. So that's going to be interesting. So you can't just sell anything anywhere. You need to take it to the right place to sell it. It looks like, okay. So up next, remember we spoke about, um, night vision. Okay. So this is more on night vision stuff here. Um, so it says here, the, the item name is called item, uh, description MVTC optics, hollow one time size one a lamp so it says manufacturer is mv tac and uh, it says here projection and uh as the type and attachment point it says optics and magnification it says one time so these are all the properties of it aim time is uh plus 15 percent and um let's see is this a description um it says whether under the blazing sun or on the dark side of the moon the NV TAC gamma projects and easy to see reticle to help ensure your shop finds its mark. That is cool. This version of the scope includes low light functionality suitable for operations in dim environments. So that's it right there. They already got night vision stuff in here. So that's going to be pretty cool. Can't wait. They have two times for it as well. Um, they have varying sizes, varying, very, varying, uh, ma uh, magnifications for these. So that's pretty cool. So that's going to be a new manufacturer called NV TAC. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see if there's anything more here. That's interesting. They have one time all the way up to eight time as well as a reflex as well. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So, um, some more. So this time here, this is regarding, uh, mission, mission organizations. Okay. So there's going to be organizations that you're going to be, um, ranking up with. We'll do your Delphi, the Delphi app here. It says here, um, call cargo, uh, use in mission organization stream various variants for cargo hauling. Okay. So this is just some random text here i don't think this has any value so it seems like there's different kinds of cargo missions okay so there is one cargo mission um that's called haul cargo underscore at mo a t o b so this might be a cargo mission that keeps you on the same planet but you have to take it from one outpost to, to the other this is my speculation um and then there's going to be another one called cargo haul multi multi to single so this is a a cargo mission where you need to go to multiple locations and drop them all to one location and there's going to be another cargo mission called cargo haul single to multi so you grab it from one location and you go drop diff, drop them at different locations okay so then there's going to be cargo haul linear chain I'm not sure what that means hmm maybe what that means is you pick up cargo from one location you drop it off at another location and at that location there's going to be a package there you need to pick up and then take it to another location drop it off there and there's probably another one there for you to pick up and i guess as you go through it you get paid or you get paid at the end i'm not sure how that's going to work that's my speculation of what that means um haul cargo um round delivery what does that mean maybe you drop them off at different locations and and you come back to the original location 
that that's what i'm getting from that okay so um that's pretty cool that's pretty cool freight elevators have varying sizes that they can carry 16 i guess it's all of them it seems like 16 su 1 su 24 su 32 su 4 su 8 su okay so i think all the way up to 32 these cargo these freight elevators can take okay all right so next is blockade runner seems like they have some information pertaining to the blockade runner dynamic event that we'll be getting um maybe through this patch or in a future patch okay so um it seems like it's going to involve uh zeta prolinate where we'll need to um deliver zeta prolinate it says word is that a lot of zeta prolinate has been stolen from um mission location address and if you have come across any bring it over to missing location drop off location and uh, we'll make sure to get a good price and if uh, not you can abandon this offer no hard feelings all right so that's what it looks like it looks like we're just going to be uh, picking them up and delivering them but it seems like we won't be able to use our quantum drive at that station because they're going to be blockading it so you'll have to manually drive fly there it seems like um we've we've had the, we've, we've done this mission before but i think they just updated it to work with the new cargo system it seems like that's my speculation okay so um, it says here for immediate system wide release. So this is probably a message you'll get through your mobile glass. It says a hostile fleet of ships equipped with quantum jammers have created a blockade around the mission location, destroyed the Stanton uh, defensive turrets and stolen a large supply of Zetaprolinade. In response to the CDF has received authorization to activate its volunteer forces though the overall situation is dire the theft of the zetaponate is our priority without direct action the loss of the sector's zetaponate store could have a devastating effects to the wider common economy um, of the whole system while local security forces are investigating the incursion they've tracked the stolen um, they track the stolen to several locations to so CDF volunteers are tasked with heading to these locations recovering the stolen at the protonade and transferring it back to the stone uh, station before the materials completely degrade and is no longer viable just be careful uh, Intel suggests that a larger cluster of Zetaprotonade has a higher outlaw uh, presence interesting so you're gonna have to fight them before you can get them okay since time is of the essence having a tractor beam to assist in moving the cargo is highly advised as um, an added incentive volunteers will receive regular bonus payments for their uh, combined efforts so kind of like xeno threat will be, be you'll be paid uh, periodically as you're doing the mission okay so that's interesting that's interesting uh for so that's um the uh blockade runner mission i don't see anything else interesting here pertaining to it yeah so i think that's it i think that is it so far so those are the leaks that we have so far that we've gotten from the pipeline discord channel you guys let me know your thoughts on what we just covered don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one